Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Alexander Zverev. Please raise your hand and state your name and organisation when asking your question. We will start with questions in English. Uh, Alexander, had some good form on grass. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I don't have to lean in, right? No. Um, I feel good. Um, obviously, the last few months have been quite positive for me, uh, winning in Rome and then obviously a bit of a disappointing uh, loss in the final of the French Open, but still, you know, all in all, a good tournament. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can show that here at the championship as well. David? Hi there, Alex. Um, coming into this event, uh, as Fer was saying, you've had some good results on grass at other tournaments, but maybe not reached your highest level here in terms of what you've done at Grand Slam tournaments. Do you feel any different this time to previous years? Yeah, it's actually, I talked about it with my brother. It's the first time that I really feel like I'm, I'm here to, to be a competitor to maybe win the title. Um, I didn't feel like that uh, previous years when I came here. I didn't feel like I was capable. I didn't believe I was capable. Um, but I also do think this is the, the most open Wimbledon championship that we maybe had in 20 years um, in terms of favorites, in terms of potential winners. I think there's there's multiple guys who have a very decent chance of, of going deep and very decent chance of winning a tournament. And I don't think it has been like that uh, for maybe 20 years since before Roger started playing, right? And after Roger came Rafa and Novak and Andy, and it was always, you know, a very limited amount of guys who, who were actually able to, to compete and to win the tournament. And I, I really feel it's different this year. I really feel that I can say that you know, I'm one of those guys who, who, who is going to do everything they can. And is it a tournament where maybe I need a bit more luck and maybe a few things to go my way and a few things to happen? Yes, uh, definitely more than maybe at other Grand Slams. But if those things all come into place and if all those things, uh, you know, maybe go my way for once, do I believe I can win? Then, then yes, I can. Hi Alex, uh, Ken McGuire from AP. Yeah. Um, looking ahead to the Paris Olympics, um, how, how is it different? How is the preparation uh, and the build-up and even the pressure uh, different at the Olympics compared to a Grand Slam? Uh, and kind of where do you rate your gold medal in terms of your you know career accomplishments? Uh, um, I was actually practicing with Bertini yesterday, who works with Rafa's ex-coach now, and. Uh, you know, he said one funny thing to me. He said the Olympics is probably the most difficult trophy to win in, in tennis for us because we have we have that tournament once every four years. Um, if you're not performing during that week, then, you know, you have to wait another four years where at Grand Slams or other events, we have multiple per year. Of course, I'm not saying the Olympics is more important than the Grand Slam or, or vice versa, but um, in terms of obviously pressure and in terms of expectation, especially um, playing for your country. It is, uh, for me, one of the biggest trophies and for me, one of the biggest things in sports. As someone who's been in many really deep fifth set matches that are very taxing on the body and on the mind, what is your thought on the importance of five set matches in tennis and the possibility of maybe getting rid of them and going to three the way the women have? Um, as you all know, I'm, I'm part of the player council. Um, I'm part of um, just the governing bodies of, of our tour. And to be honest, we have a lot of these discussions. We have a lot of the discussions of, you know, getting rid of the let rules and getting rid of, um, you know, linesmen at the French Open now and all of that. Tennis is fine. Tennis is one of the oldest sports that that there is that has ever been created. We've been playing this this beautiful sport since the 19th century, and the rules of tennis they're they're fine. We don't need to we don't need to make up new rules all the time. We need we don't need to you know come up with new things every few years. I think that the sport of tennis is loved by so many around the world, and I think. The difficulty of winning a Grand Slam it are the five set matches. The, it is the physicality. It is what you work for in the off season. It's not, you know, of course, winning a Masters 1000 event is huge. Winning um, a three set event like the World Finals is huge in tennis. But 
the most difficult pa task in our sport is winning a Grand Slam because of the five set matches. And in my opinion, there's no way that sh we should ever get rid of that, um, I think, because that is what makes Wimbledon so special. That is what makes the French Open so special. You know, having those five hour battles where you, you really see the players exhausted, you really see the players at their limits. And for me, that, that's what I work for in the off season. And I, I don't think we should get rid of that. Hey, it's Coach, let's keep um, right over here. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Ekrushev from The Athletic. Um, I'm trying to ask you about your backhand. You've got one of like one of the best backhands mm -hmm. in the game. And a lot of people often kind of glorify single-handed backhands. Can I just ask you, did you, did you always play double-handed? And what advantage does it give you? And does it give most players? Like, why do most players play? I, I always play double-handed. Um, but the big reason is because, you know, I have a 10 year older brother and I started playing tennis with his rackets, basically. So uh, the rackets were way too heavy for me and uh, way too long and everything was too big. So there's no way I could even hold the racket with one hand, basically. So that's maybe why my double handed uh, backhand is better than my forehand in a way. But um, I think in the modern game, a double handed backhand has more advantages. It's as simple as that. And it is maybe a less beautiful shot as everybody says uh, but it is a more effective shot you you get more control on the returns you get more power if you really want to um yeah i, I think you know in the in the modern day of tennis the best backhands in the world are double-handed backhands it's it's unfortunately the way it is or fortunately the way it is single will die out sorry do you think single will die out i think the game is getting too fast for single-handed backhands i think it's 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 obviously it's it is visually a much more beautiful shot for sure and i agree with you but it is more difficult to control that shot uh, when the ball is coming at you at 140 miles an hour um, so if you have two hands it's it's easier to control that ball um, and in my opinion the, the tennis is getting faster and faster and the, you know if you look at how alcaraz or sinner are hitting the ball i prefer to have two hands on the racket uh, against that alex yes. ash seed from quality shot I'd just like to know what you like to do off court the most when you're at Wimbledon and in London. Well, my brother's family's here, uh, so both kids are here. So we have a big garden, fortunately. So we bought we the, at the moment we uh, we arrived at the house. We went straight on Amazon, ordered a mini tennis net. Then I ordered myself a nine-hole golf course, which I can put in the garden and play with plastic balls. So I do that every day and I compete with my physio who gets very angry when he loses. And I love seeing that. Um, you have to imagine I'm a little kid. Outside the tennis court, I'm a little kid. Um, I play games. I can't sit still. I play Mario Kart with my friends. I, I have to do activities. Uh, that's what I do. Okay, we're going to switch to German questions. Wir haben eben im Englischen darüber gesprochen, über das Selbstbewusstsein, dass er sich jetzt auch als einer der Wettbewerbungen in den Titeln 